Hello and welcome back to another vlog and welcome to sunny California. I'm so so excited to film this vlog for you guys. Um, I just landed not so long ago so we got to the hotel about half an hour ago and quickly got ready. I've just chucked anything on because I'm so so excited to get out in the sun and just chill at the beach, grab some dinner, make the most of it. Um, for those that don't know already, I'm actually in California um, or well Orange County for a work trip um so we've got meetings on monday and then i've got an exhibition monday to thursday so today's saturday and i've got like half of the day left and then i've got the whole day tomorrow to explore so i'm filming orange county for you and everything that i get up to um places to go eat and coffee shops and all that good stuff um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i'm sorry this introduction's pretty rushed um, because I am dying to get out in the sun and get on with my day but I'm excited to bring you guys along with me okay so I actually have way more time to speak to you guys um, I've just ordered my uber but it's just confirming um, so I think the today's plans are for the rest of the evening is to go to the beach pick up a pizza and maybe watch sunset um, I think that's the vibe that I want to go for and then probably head to a place for dinner i'm really really craving mexican so sorry i'm just checking if my uber's been confirmed but yeah i'm really really craving mexican so hopefully i can get into a place called javier's um for dinner tonight and then probably head back and chill um unpack my suitcase make myself at home have a shower and stuff because i've literally just got off two flights um okay my uber has been confirmed be arriving in 13 minutes i definitely have a lot of time to chat to you guys um what was i saying yeah i've been traveling the whole day since three well to be honest i didn't sleep on um i didn't sleep friday night because i had to be up at three o'clock on saturday morning to head to the airport so yeah, it's just been a crazy travel day. Um, but I'm so, so happy to be here. I'm so, so happy that the sun's out, the weather's amazing. Um, I'm really, really grateful that I've got like a day and a half just to like chill and do my own thing um, and kind of just like go out and stuff. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to be here and I'm also excited to share this with you. So I'm just wearing a basic white top and jeans and then I've just got sandals because um, I'm gonna head to the beach. I'll give you a room tour. Oh my god, it's such a mess, but this is my room um, that I'm staying in and I'll be here for the next two nights, but by the time I come back, I want to clean all of this and get everything set, um, get everything sorted. leaving the beach really early because it's freaking cold I had to put like my cardigan cardigan on and even then it was freezing so I decided to leave the beach and get some dinner so I found a Mexican place because I was really craving Mexican um, so I'm just gonna walk up and head there now I kind of chill at the beach for about 50 minutes um, I just sat and read my book and chilled and it just got so cold I couldn't I couldn't bear it anymore. So I'm like, I'm gonna go walk and oh there's a sun. You can see the sun. Okay, let me try and show you. You can see the sun setting. Two seconds. Okay, quick detour. I I can see a hill and the sun setting at the moment. So I'm gonna try and climb the the hill and see if I can see the sunset a little bit because it's very um, cloudy today so I'm not sure if we're gonna see the whole sunset but I'm gonna try and climb the hill a little detour My detour was a success. 
success. I managed to watch the sun go down, but like I said, it's a very cloudy day today. Um, so I saw a bit of the sun, um, but it was like a proper sunset. Um, so now I'm just heading to dinner, but climbing a ton of stairs. Um, like I was saying, I'm going to a Mexican place because I'm really craving Mexican food. And then I'm probably just gonna head back to my hotel, chill, unpack, get settled in. I don't know how much I'm gonna sleep tonight because I literally slept the whole 11 hours of the first flight and then I slept an hour and a half of the second flight, which was a full entire flight. So I am not tired at all. And I'm out of breath. So I'm gonna pick up the camera once I get to Bandera, because that's the place um, that I'm going to. This is so random, but the houses here are so, so nice. Like even that house here, so nice. I mean, what would you expect? The beach is right in front of you, so I would expect the houses to be so nice, but I really like this area. I'm just walking through this neighborhood, this area. Um, and it's so, so nice. Um, I kind of wish, like, I said this last time I came to California. Um, it's one of the places in the world that I could actually, like, move to, settle down and live here. Um, I never thought I would ever feel that about a place apart from the UK. But California, like, actually has my heart. Um, I love this place so, so much, especially Orange County. Um, I love it so much. Let me just get my maps to see if I'm going the right place or the right way. Um, oh, it's just so peaceful. The houses are stunning. Oh my God, okay, look. Look at this house. I don't know if I'm showing you like properly, but the houses are so, so nice. Um, I think I need to take a turn here somewhere but yeah Corona Del Mar Beach was fun it seems like it's a very like um lively beach um and it seems like on weekends especially like today I saw so many people um coming with drinks like it seems like they were getting ready for a party um so in that sense it was it seemed really fun it was just so cold I like I couldn't stay also this area is really muggy um but yeah those are my random conclusions whilst I walk to my dinner place. I've just got back now um, from dinner and the beach. Um, I ended up going to this place called Bandera. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it was such a flop. If you're a vegetarian, don't go to Bandera in um, the Corona Del Mar, Del Mar area. I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, they, they just don't have anything for vegetarians. So I ended up just having like fries and um, guacamole chips with guacamole chips no tortilla chips with guacamole so it was very like a snacky dinner um so i've just got back now but my stomach doesn't feel great and this always happens to me when i'm in the states um even last time i came with work my stomach was just all over the place like i was vomiting non-stop um so i think i'm gonna just have to find or google some um medication that will help with my sickness um yeah so i'm gonna get into my pajamas shower unpack and just get settled in for the night i think because i had such a snacky dinner um i've actually just ordered myself some uber eats so i've ordered myself din tai fung i'm so so excited because i love that place i didn't realize that they had one here um so i've ordered some dumplings and some noodles um funny that because my stomach's in bits and pieces um and I've ordered myself some more food <laughs> it's just not a good combination um 
yes, I think I'm gonna shower and I'm also thinking of ending today's vlog here and picking up the camera tomorrow um, just because I'm gonna like take off my makeup get into put get into bed get into my pajamas watch a bit of Bridgerton and have some downtime so I am gonna enjoy the rest of my evening with my Din Tai Fung and I will pick you guys back up tomorrow I've got a whole day of activities planned um, but I just need to finalize everything um, so I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And I hope everyone's well. Um, I'm starting my day again. It's my final um, day to do whatever I like before the working week starts tomorrow. Um, so I've just got ready for the day. Let me actually show you what I'm wearing. Um, I forgot to mention, no, I did mention it yesterday that at the beach it got really cold um, so I actually got the layers on today because I am planning to head to a couple of beaches again today so I'm going to be way more prepared this time but this is my outfit so I'm just wearing some leggings, white top that I wore yesterday, um, this cardigan and then this fleece on top. So the plan this morning is to go for a hike. I've just had some breakfast in my room. I kind of finished off the leftovers that I had from last night and had them for breakfast because I didn't want them to go to waste um, and I can pretty much, I'm that person that can pretty much have anything for breakfast um, in the morning, it doesn't have to be like a breakfast breakfast item so I had dumplings, um, I had dessert dumplings for my breakfast too and they were so so good um, who knew that like dessert dumplings could like bang so much but yeah I'm gonna just quickly get my things together I'm gonna head off to I think this place called Whiting something trail wilderness park Whiting wilderness park I'm gonna leave all the information down below I'm gonna start the day with a hike and then grab some late breakfast grab a coffee head to the beach um yeah I'm gonna bring you along with me my room is an absolute tip um but yeah i'm gonna get my stuff together and head out and then start the day so i've just got to whiting ranch wilderness park and i'm gonna take on the map i'm hoping to take this route here so i kind of want to end up here but i've seen this sign <laughs> mountain lion country at risk i don't know how i feel about this but now that i'm here i'm just gonna i'm just gonna have to do it <laughs> Look, and I haven't even reached the top. So, I'm getting closer to where I want to go. You can kind of tell that the canyons are forming. I'm nearly there, had the finish line. So I was really nervous when I got to the beginning of the trail actually doing this hike by myself because this is the first time I've done a hike by myself having to follow a map and stuff and I was kind of nervous not about not knowing how to read a map and knowing if I was going the right way but um it's going really well so far and I'm so so glad that I did it because literally I got there and I was like should I just turn around <laughs> go back home so I'm kind of glad that I got out of my comfort zone and it gives me like so much more confidence to do do this back at home but let me show you the view that's where I'm heading I would say if you are doing this trail just wear proper shoes um because it is quite rocky and nearly there
best lunch ever at um, Gracias Madras. I think I'm butchering that pronunciation, but oh my god, everything in there was vegan. The menu was amazing. Everything that I had was amazing. Service was amazing. Atmosphere was amazing. Had the best time in there. Um, I'm just walking around now um, in this like complex. Um, just to digest a little because there's like a coffee shop next door to the lunch place that I went to that I really want to go to but I'm so so full like I don't even have space to even like have coffee um so I'm just like walking up and down my water bottle just keeps making <laughs> these random so sounds in my bag yeah, so I'm kind of just walking it off. I'm walking my lunch off because I just can't breathe right now. Um, there are very few shops in this complex, but they've all they're all really cl all closed or closed really early. Um, so I'm gonna do a few laps and then go to that coffee shop, maybe read my book, chill, and then take it from there. But right now I've had like the best day ever. Um, it's been so so fun. It was a little chilly actually this morning um, and even after I finished my hike, but yeah. I didn't realize it closed at four and I was just I spent like 30 minutes like walking around digesting my food so I'm like sitting outside drinking my chai tea latte um, I'm gonna head to the beach now because um, I don't think there's anything else in this area for me to do so I've just got well I'm waiting for an uber to go to Huntington Beach and I think the sun's come out it's not cloudy so I'm gonna chill there for the rest of the evening maybe watch sunset read my book and just chill um, I think that's the plan oh my uber's been confirmed 10 minutes away um, but yeah that's the plan for the rest of the day I think we're supposed to have a team dinner but I don't really want to go to it um, I kind of just want to be out and making the most of my last day of freedom before the grind hits but we'll see how it goes I think for now I'm just gonna chill at the beach First stop of the day is this coffee shop called Nook Coffee Bar um, and I've just got uh, lavender chai iced from there so I'm going to do a little taste test I'm just sitting outside in the sun because it's such a, such a nice day today mm. That tastes pretty good actually um, so once I've like sat um, and I had my chai, I'm gonna head to this place for breakfast, which is literally next door. Um, this vegan place called Seabird's Kitchen. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna chill, read my book, um, and soak up the sun. So I'm just sitting in Seabird's Kitchen um, in the lab 
anti mall there's a lot of scaffolding behind me as you can see but i've just come to get like a bit of a snack because i'm a bit hungry so i've got mac and cheese and i've got a taco this is actually really good but yeah i'm just gonna have some light lunch and then probably get some donuts because there's like a donut shop here that i want to try and then put around some shops and then probably head to the beach but yeah okay guys so i've just left um the anti-lab mall um i picked up some donuts and i'm gonna take them to the beach with me um I kind of just wanted to come on here and talk about Sea Bird's Kitchen. I didn't really rate it, to be honest. Um, it's a vegan like place. And I just, I think because I went on a Friday, they probably have a different brunch menu from um, or for the weekend. Um, I didn't really enjoy it. Um, and it was like, like recommended. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend Sea Bird's. But I'm actually heading over across the street now to go to this place called Boba Guys. Um, I'm going to just pick up bubble tea and then I'm going to head to the beach for the rest of the day. Look how cute this place is. Also, there's so many shops around here so I might just have a little look around. Um, but I'm just going to head in and get some boba now. very close to my Airbnb and I've got myself some um, pizza so I'm just gonna sit here and chill probably lie down a bit um, read a book and then hopefully I'll get to see sunset from here I'm also gonna try and go on a walk as well along the coast um, but yeah those are my plans for the rest of the evening actually off to LA to meet with my friends I'm so excited to see them um, I'm just at the train station I think it's called the Amtrak here um, so I'm just getting the train from Santa Ana to Union Station in LA um, to meet with them I'm so so excited I was kind of getting a little bit homesick yesterday um, so like seeing my friends today will hopefully help that and make me feel a little bit better i kind of just miss my family to be honest and it's never really happened to me when i've been out traveling and on trips um yeah i don't know i just feel a bit homesick and i can't really pinpoint why um yeah so i'm at the train station and i'm actually like half an hour early um i thought i'd get here earlier than expected because i didn't really know how the system worked what platform i needed to go on um but yeah so now i'm just probably just gonna do my makeup because i didn't really have time to do it this morning um i feel so so tired i just have not been getting proper sleep recently either um well since i've been here it's been like every night i'll get about five to six hours my body clock is just all over the place right now um but i'm just gonna sit here and do my makeup wait for my train to come and then take you along with me um to la i'm so so excited um we've got like a few cafes and stuff planned but i will definitely be taking you along with me 